Well, it's, it's interesting, isn't it, what's happened here at this footy club. Uh, when you have a look at uh, over the last seven weeks, they've won five. They've won five of them, and, uh, and, and, and two of them by, by under a goal were, were lost. I tell you, the tribe are starting to come together again. And the fans ringing Jared's show in the morning. Teague, Teague, we want Teague, we want Teague. Catandra is a beautiful place just to have the background of all the farms. It's looking magnificent at the moment considering we're in uh, a bit of a drought. So it, look, it's just um, it's a pleasure to come out here every time I, I drive out here again. It's a small community here so this is, this is the body that you go to whenever anything's happening, the football club get behind it. The football club becomes the centre of the hub in the winter time, you know, so congregate together and, and all the surrounds together, so it's a good experience to be involved in. Nowadays I don't do too much, I might do a bit of timekeeping, a bit of gate. When you get old they put you out on the gate. <laughs> Without a footy club I don't know how you'd, I don't know what you'd do, I just can't imagine how it would go. It is a where were you when moment, 11, 12, 78 to 9, 9, 63 in David Teague's first game as an AFL coach. You know, to see Jeff at the end of the game, it was a bit of a disappointment for him not being able to, to celebrate that with David, but he was just so proud to see him. He had a tear in the eye. I think we both had a tear in the eye, and we are just so proud to see that all that hard work and all the belief that the club had for him to take over that role and then to win the game against Brisbane, fantastic. He always loved his football, so we were for, forever kicking the football in the backyard. He absolutely loved it, pretty much slept with the football. It was a machine operated or fingered, he was not interested in the farm at all. He was just, total ambition was to play AFL. He wasn't a, a quick player, but you don't need to be a quick player to get the ball. And he certainly knew how to get the ball. It didn't matter about any danger to himself, he would certainly put his head on the ball if he had to. He was destined to be something to do in the league and he went into the coaching side of it and that's where his forte really is. I think he's really got right onto it there. He's very good at it. David was a student of the game. He, he just loved to play the game and that was because of the background of being brought up in a town like Katandra. I do remember sitting down watching the football at the time. I shouldn't have done that, he should have done that, you know. So we analysed the game together that well. He was only a little tacker sort of thing. And, uh, I know he said one time there, he said, hey, you reckon yeah, Friday night was good, I got to stay up later because I could watch the footy. So I think Dennis Pagan, probably being one that sort of, sort of said to him, he said, you know, coaching might be a forte for you. So I think he encouraged him to, to go into the coaching side. And not long ago, when he was in uh, Adelaide coaching, and I'm watching and I said, oh yeah, that bloke's on there. He said, no, it happened three moves back. He did outgrow me by a mile. Blues today officially announcing caretaker David Teague has won the race for the full-time job and will be the coach for at least the next three years. Well, we found out through the media before he got to tell us, actually. <laughs> sort of trying to wait. We were both together at home. We knew, knew it would be about 5.30, 6 o'clock before we'd be both together at home and he wanted to tell us then. But by that stage, the media had already had it out that, uh, that he'd got the job. He certainly worked hard for everything that he's, he achieved. He was destined to be the person that he is today. My advice for David, my grandfather, he just said, just be honest and you're as good as your word. And if you can work on those very simple things, things will go all right for you.